Growing Up on a Farm in Kentucky. Stories by Stan Schmidt. Episode 21, Rotten Eggs and Electric Fences. You didn't keep very many friends at the farm, huh? No, there was another guy that he lived close by and he would come over for something to do. He had a good time every time he came over. (coughs) But then we would start, in the wintertime especially, (coughs) the barn was our gym and if it was half empty, it was a nice gym and we had a rope to climb and swing from and you could get up on the hay and then swing out on the rope and then we found some, a nest of well we had these chickens called bandies we called them bandies they were bantam chickens that they they could fly and they took care of themselves and lived around the barn and they laid eggs in the in the hay and uh we found a whole nest of rotten eggs one time. So we got them all out of the nest and divided them up between two teams. <laughs> and I guess we didn't even pick teams. We just started throwing randomly at one another rotten eggs. And it was pretty hard. Most people could dodge them. So then we tied up this friend of ours who was always coming over We tied him up to the side of the barn and started throwing rotten eggs at him. You know, I guess we all kind of ganged up on him. (laughs) He was screaming and we kept getting closer and closer and closer until some of the rotten eggs splashed on and uh, eventually we, we let him go. Untied him. It took him about a week, but he was back over again after about a week. (laughs) <laughs> so we've mistreated some people we learned we learned to do things without supervision you learn kind of by mob rule you know you just realize that hey wait a minute we're mistreating our friends and relatives it's just things could break out fights could break out and it was more like the Lord of the Rings than anything else. You mean Lord of the Flies? Lord of the Flies, yeah, Lord of the Flies. When I saw that, I'm like, ooh, that's kind of like our life. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I suppose you don't keep very many friends like that. Oh, we get, you would be surprised. There weren't a lot of friends around, and some of these guys were, we went to school with them every day, and they were our friends for life question of it, if your definition of fun was the same as their definition of fun. Yeah, sometimes they would get revenge on you. We'd have revenge plots and things like that. Especially if I remember my brother mistreating me and I would get back at him by doing things like tripping them when they were walking along, stick my leg out and just trip them on the ground. <laughs> Something like that. So, I think we went through a lot of... Uh, human psychology experiments or whatever you want to call them. (laughs) Kind of like that Pennsylvania experiment where they had people, they told people to shock so-and-so and and told even told them it was lethal shock, but they used authority and these people would push the button and shock them. We learned that on the farm. (laughs) Yeah, you did shock some people, didn't you? With the- Yeah, we had shocking experiments, yeah. We used to have this one trick when we were little, five, six, seven years old. We'd say, let's hold hands when we're walking. And we would all, and this was a dirty trick. Usually it was some kid that was little and he came over for a day on the farm. We'd all be walking along in the field, holding hands. And the biggest ones always knew that there was electricity in these wires that dad used to keep the cattle in certain areas. And then if you grab, if you were on the end of a handhold line of people holding hands and you grab the electric wire, you didn't hardly feel anything. But the guy that was on the end, the most naive guy, would get shocked. It's it's, it's phenomenal electricity. (laughs) We learned at an early age. I don't know how many times we did that. He would start screaming. (laughs) It wasn't uh, lethal or anything, but uh, 
Didn't feel good. <laughs> it was kind of the dirty trick that we pulled on people.